guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new around here, my name's Lara, and today's video is going to be doing lots of healthy meals and inspiration if anyone's looking for meals to eat healthily. Obviously, summer is knocking on the door. It's so warm right now, and I just love healthy eating. So many people ask me how I keep in shape, which is, to me, I don't feel like I am in shape, but I genuinely just eat healthily. I don't exercise, really. I try it and do running, but I'm not very good at it. But I just really love healthy eating. So you guys seem to like this video last time, so I thought I'd do some more ideas, which have all come from my favorite Jamie Oliver book. I absolutely love this cookery book. It's the Five Ingredients book. I can link it down below if you haven't got it already. I've got so many cookery books, but this is just one of those ones that I just keep going back to. The ingredients are affordable. The recipes are super easy. It's quick. It's perfect for dinners on the run with the family and yeah it's just an all-round winner so yeah I'll link the other video I did down below in fact I'll probably link my uh, meal planning recipes playlist down below so you can check that out but I'm gonna be doing a few more meals for you today so you can see some of those inspiration and what I eat in you know in the evenings but I also wanted just to let you know that Channel Mum have also got loads of healthy eating recipes over on their website which is channelmum.com forward slash parenting forward slash eat I'll leave it down in the description bar so you can check them out there's loads of uh, like children fussy eater type meal ideas as well which is just invaluable because well you know children they they are fussy well mine are anyway so yeah I'm always over there checking those out so have a look over there if you haven't already but let's get on and show you guys my meal ideas for the week right meal one is going to be this one which is from my favorite if you've seen my videos of doing testing out his recipes you know I love this book so we've got uh, two rump steaks we've got some broccoli potato uh, some parmesan and some tomatoes and then I'm just gonna do a that with the pesto and some pine nuts so that is meal number one this just looks incredible doesn't it we never ever use rump steak we always use sirloin but i'm hoping this is going to look like this looks basically So here's the expectation then. Um, I've pretty much done the same. I did peas for Stuart, but I'm gonna have um, like a mixed salad, but a lot of it is rocket. And then here is the reality. And obviously I've added the potatoes, but I think that's pretty good. Can't wait to try it. This is so good, guys. I really, really love it. Definitely needed the potatoes. Love the pesto with it and the pine nuts. Just all of it, basically. Thumbs up. Okay, I'm gonna be making this hot smoked salmon pasta, but because you guys know I am a rebel, I'm gonna do it with chicken because Stuart actually doesn't like hot smoked ch um, salmon, so I'm just gonna do it with chicken, and I'm probably gonna add some Parmesan in there as well because we have some of that left over. So I've got the creme fraiche and the asparagus, and then I've got a lemon as well. And actually, we're just gonna use normal whole wheat spaghetti because we um, eat whole wheat food like that so yeah this is what I need and as I said I've got a few extras and a few swaps but essentially this should taste really really good I'm really looking forward to this one
guys, my camera actually just landed in it, so no one needs that, but hopefully it tastes quite good still and my camera survives. Right, tonight I am doing this, which I've been eyeing up for ages. It's the Easy Sausage Carbonara, so it's going to just be sausages and tagliatelle, but I think we're going to use spaghetti because I've got brown spaghetti. Ideally, I should be using courgette if I was trying to not have carbs, but I feel like I'm off the wagon this week. These are my latest favourite thing. They are chopped herbs, and I've got things like chilli and garlic and all different kinds, and they just go in the freezer so you don't waste anything, and I just love them because the amount of times I've had a pot of parsley on the windowsill and I've used it for one dish and then never again, and it's such a waste. I'm going to add a little bit of chilli into this sausage meat mixture just for a bit of heat. And I'm also going to add a bit of garlic in for some more heat flavour. And I'm even going to put some of this parsley in with it as well because I think that it could just can't do any harm, you know. You've got it in the sauce, so you might as well have some in the sausage meat. So that's the quantities I'm using. Now I'm going to put these, squeeze these in. Now I don't know if the skin's going to come off really. Yeah, they will. So literally I'm just going to take all the skins off of those. So I'm going to make my sauce now. I put some parsley in, which uh, it should be half a bunch. So I've just kind of gauged what that might look like. And then I'm just going to put some garlic in as well. there we go I'm really happy with that I'm looking forward to trying it it looks delicious I love everything in it so I know I'm gonna like it and it took a little bit longer to cook because I did the meatballs bigger than he did in the book but it still looks good and it was still really quick there we go guys hope you enjoyed that video and you got to the end of it well done if you like this kind of video and you want to see more then do let me know in the comments below and let me know if you've got that book what your favorite recipe is because there's so many good recipes in it. I just love it. I'm just going to continue to cook from it. And I can make another video like this if you want. Or other kind of meal planning. Or supermarket hauls. Like food shop hauls. Let me know in the comments. And subscribe if you want to see more. Thanks so much for watching. And I'll see you soon. Bye.